Oh, the cockroaches are out today. The cockroaches are out having a field day. We haven't really seen them out in force like this for a while. I guess last week they were out too. They're having a field day today, the cockroaches. Look, let me, uh, let me just put everything in perspective here, okay? With a little story. When I was starting out as a trader way back, you know, in the early 80s, I was a floor trader. Um... I had a friend, I knew this guy, he wasn't really a close friend, but I knew this guy, he was a very, very successful S&P trader, uh, you know, traded stock index futures, made money all the time. <clears throat> and one time I asked him, I said, how do you do it? How do you make money all the time? How do you always get the market right? And here's what he said to me, half joking, I guess, half serious, but here's what he said to me. He said, I figure out how the market is going to fuck the most people and then I do that and so think about that comment for a second basically it's what I think a lot of people experience is that for them if they are beginners or they don't have the right mental game uh, they're frustrated a lot of times because you know they want the market to be directionally uh, identifiable and it's not. It goes up and down. Sometimes it seems so random. They could have a position on that is a profit one minute and it is a loss the next minute, right? That that speaks to a point that I've been talking about for a long time is the, uh, you know, the ridiculousness of stops and the implied assumption in there that you know cutting your losses is a good idea because you know that the loss would have continued. You don't know that. Or with a profit, you know you're letting your profits run. Meanwhile, they turn around. And basically, in his comment, that was embodied in his comment, okay, that the market uh, was going to screw the most people it can, and that's the way he traded. He tried to figure that out, right? And this is this kind of randomness, you know, up one day, down the next, looks like it's getting going, and then it reverses, and then it looks like it's getting going the other way. And for a lot of people, uh, it's a very frustrating, challenging experience. And that's what we're having right now. In these times, you really have to step back and, and uh, think, what has changed? Has anything changed fundamentally? that would indicate a complete you know reversal of the market that conditions have changed to such a degree that we are going in the opposite direction and unless you can answer that question definitively yes that conditions have fundamentally changed and now everything is reversing in the opposite direction then you cannot be swayed by these movements these are just this is just noise okay for example, I said earlier I was buying the dip in the S&P. Well, I guess what? It kept on dipping. But, you know, I am uh, aware that sometimes that's what happens. Uh, you know, I try to be as prescient and as accurate as possible at uh, my entries, you know, when I buy and sell. But it's impossible because, again, in that in that statement or in that goal, you know, there's, you, you got to be careful not to assume that you know the future, that this is the exact bottom or that is the exact top. And I, frankly, I, you know, you, you should not let that hinder you from action. Remember, I spoke in the past about winners take action. And then if they need to adjust, they adjust. I took action. The market pulled back. There is no fundamental change. I look at fiscal flows. All the things that have uh, guided me correctly are still in effect. Now, you could argue, well, you know, you're not paying attention to the rise in uh, bond yields. Well, I am. I'm actually short the bond market, so you can't tell me that. But I have argued in the past that rate hikes are, are actually bullish for the economy, their, their fiscal expansions, their net injections of income. We're talking about a 25 basis point hike in the uh, Fed funds rate in December if that happens. And it, it does look like it might happen. Uh, bond yields are going up. Yes. However, 
uh, the level of government spending is still very strong. We're in a new fiscal year. So all the conditions that had been in place are still in place. What about Brexit? What about Brexit? I mean, everything that the naysayers and the doomsayers said pre-Brexit, none of those things came to pass. Okay, now we had a crazy, insane sell-off in the British pound. Not that first sell-off that we got. It stabilized and actually was starting to, to recover. But this recent one from last uh, Thursday with that flash crash and now sort of continuing. If you read what's behind it, I mean, those are these are all based on, this is zombie selling. These are people looking at newspaper reports by journalists who are saying that the UK economy is going to contract by 10%. These are the same people that got everything else wrong. All right, these are the people who are saying that, you know, Japan was going to have a debt crisis or that Brexit was going to be terrible or that uh, the downgrade of U.S. Uh, uh, credit rating was going to be a disaster or that um, the, the central bank activity, monetary operations were, were going to lead to hyperinflation. All the same people got everything wrong. The zombies react. They don't learn a lesson. They're not interested in learning a lesson. They are not interested. Their whole uh, approach is gambling. It's hearing something. It's throwing a, throwing a position up against the wall and seeing if it sticks. I don't gamble, okay? I know. And if I have to adjust, I adjust. That's it. So I'm not worried about this until I see a fundamental change in conditions, which I have not seen yet. Okay, and I look at this stuff every single day. When I see it, I'll let you know. There has been no fundamental change in conditions. And I am not worried about the uptick in bond yield. So everything for me is status quo with one exception. And that is, yes, I am short treasuries. I have been short treasuries and I'm making money on that. That's what I'll say right now.